Hello everybody and welcome to Zoros Genesee and last episode did not go as planned but this episode I'm taking on someone a bit weaker now I don't have their bounty but they live um, over there somewhere they are called Torah the Fearless but first I'm going to check out what they have in this way station because I'm kind of curious and it looks like they have nothing that special actually let me see again Ooh. Multiple shots. Okay, I imagine that's kind of OP. And uh, this bar, how many recruits are there? Stink so. Okay, this is a mercenary. Uh, this is obviously a mercenary. So, traders gear pacifier. So, you can find them here. And you have a plastic surgeon. He doesn't look at all suspicious. And then they have Yakku. Just Yakku. Just one recruit, I guess. It's kind of low. But, um, well, it doesn't matter, I'm just scouting them for future uses. I think all of them are always going to have at least one. I think that's the way it goes. I'm not sure. And hold on, I'm gonna put on my shirt to stay warm. It's kind of cold right now. Outside. <laughs> Also, after I go here, I think I'm going to go to the Czech capital. I'm going to show how that looks to you. Here's some Czech scouts. Damn, they're strong. They don't have the best gear, but they're strong. This is my bounty. He has a bounty of 10,000. It's not really that strong. Uh, and the band of bones in general. I think I've kind of out outgrown them. Excuse me for my stumbles there. But basically, I think I've uh, outgrown them. I think I can defeat them pretty easily now. Okay. okay there's a little hit there. Now, of course, because they are sick, they are pretty good at fighting. They've got a pretty good modifier. Or a, not a modifier for fighting, but they've got <laughs> extra HP. So taking them down is going to take a bit longer because of that. I need to use the uh, kiting a little bit for this fight. Okay. They have cleavers and then they have uh, rags and samurai armor. So they've got some decent gear. But there's only 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 9 of them, I think, in total. So their numbers might be their biggest problem. That arm is not looking too good. I'm blocking everything. I like how this looks actually. Different angles. I'm not getting any attacks in at all. Ah, oh, this one. I need more dexterity. Dexterity is going to raise my attack speed. I think that's the main factor here. And I think I would get smaller penalties for having a uh, specialist or a masterwork grade samurai armor. I mean, obviously it will protect me a bit better, but it will also, um, I think it is going to reduce my combat speed a little bit less. That will also help me. So after I get the bounties of her and maybe the Berserker leader ghost, I might travel to the Armor King again in search for uh, some better armor. 
It looks like I cannot sell out their band of bones. Oh, they have medkits. Nice for them. Looks like they aren't very good at using them, though. I'm surprised they actually have them, because... I mean, they are starving and stuff. But, good for them. And they did some pretty hefty damage to me, too, so... Not too bad. But they will be my training partners. Oh, wait, where are you going? No! Where are you going to bed over there? I don't know about this. I want to see where you are going. Are you going to get attacked? They went to sleep over there. <laughs> uh, you're in the wrong town. Oh, there we go. They got confused. <laughs> I've never had that happen before. I had no idea. I think that's because their outpost is too close to the, you know, actual base. So the AI might get a bit woozy. No, they're getting attacked. Who's attacking them? Wait, uh... Actually, I'm sorry for they lost the drone. I thought it was someone actually ruining my raid on them. Oh, there's six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten of them, actually. I miscounted them before, I think. I failed the block check with Tora. Tora the fearless. I see. Stats, 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 stats. Higher attack than me. Lower defense. Similar strength. I have way higher dexterity. I have 30 higher toughness. And obviously I have more dots, but it's reduced to only 7 because of the armor. Which, that's not nothing, but still. Looks like I, uh, I can actually get some hits here. Now, they're a bit more exhausted. I say that and then don't get a single hit. There we go. Messes need more attack speed, so... Like, I keep on getting cancelled like that because I don't have time to start the attack. Nice. Okay, that's going to cause a cascading effect. Yeah, they are now going down. Too many of them are downed from that attack. Oh my god. The damage. One of them is sitting there too. <laughs> Didn't feel like taking part in this battle, I guess. This one next. This one also didn't take part in the battle before. But now their uh, right leg is really messed up. Stomach as well. Left arm. Oh, and now they're dying. Then last one. Oh, there's three more actually. Oh, how did that hit? They probably have absolutely nothing here. I mean, at least they've got a campfire, I guess, but... Oh, they are poor. Not just poor, they are extremely poor. And a little bit stupid. I 
Nice. Oh. This one got up. Bleed for me, you say. Okay. I'll keep that in mind. Mm, your stuff is really worthless. Just the cleavers, really. Okay, here's some more room. That I can use for the purpose of testing their weapons. This one's trying to recover. Actually, I'm going to let them. They can be. I'll pick her up and return her bounty. I'm actually really fond of these guys, so I don't like killing them. Like, I just feel bad for them, you know? Like, they're doing their best. They just don't have any resources at all. And they're starving. If they weren't starving, they, weren't, they would be a lot more tough. But like this, they are basically a talk. Oh, that's uh, quite a few dust bandits. I'll ignore them, I'm sure they are going to go away like that. Or maybe not. I mean, I'm a fucking tank, I can kind of walk away from them for 70 years. <laughs> okay, come here, boys. I hope you are not going to regret your decisions. Oh, that's it, that's many of them. Oh, cannot give commands like that. Take your best shot. Try me. I do here. Interesting that I basically do the same amount of damage as a hundred guardian now. I can actually beat one of them in battle, I think. I mean, especially with my armor advantage. It's no joke. You know, they're strong, but... They're not like that strong. We are a bit racist, and who's this? Oh, a hungry bandit leader that just got released from prison. <laughs> okay. Um, I didn't realize I hadn't... Uh, taken her griever, although it doesn't really matter. She's literally got nothing. Okay, that is um, Torah the Fearless down. Needed to recover one time for that. Ghost is probably going to be even more easy just because, yes, he's a bit stronger and he's not starving, but his squad is less backed up. So they aren't really going to help him at all. They're going to just kind of forget him. Let me get my back my ninja blade. It served me well in the moment I needed it, so I'm not going to sell it now. I have an emotional connection with that ninja blade. There's Ruka. I get the desire to recruit her, but no. No recruits. No recruits. No beep. No Ruka. And certainly no Tooth Fairy. <laughs> uh, just, that reference just came into my mind mid-sentence. Oh, and there's the ghost. Warmonger are known to be camped in the Spider Plains as leader of the Berserkers. 
Well, that's going to be my next target. Nicely enough, he showed up in the bounty list, so I can easily hunt for him too. And damn, this pet's good. But anyway, guys, that was it for this episode. And join me next time as I turn a ghost into a ghost. <laughs>